If you was in the kitchen in 2020 with nasty hands, I need you to make a New Year's resolution. Don't be in the kitchen in 2021 with nasty hands, okay? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas holiday. We are excited about going into the new year and getting out of 2020. But when I tell you all the baking and the cooking that I did starting like right before Thanksgiving all through Christmas, all the cakes and pies and sweet stuff. Y'all, I lost my ever-loving mind, so I'm trying to find it, okay? I'm trying real hard to find it because the scale let me know when I got on it Monday morning. The scale let me know that uh, raw. Yeah, you lost your mind. Okay, so we trying to we trying to bring it back in. Okay, so today we're gonna do something very simple. All of my stuff I fix in the kitchen is is pretty simple. At least I try to keep it simple. But today, y'all, we going back. This is a childhood favorite of mine. We gonna make some salmon. We gonna fry some salmon patties, and it's really easy to do. All we need is a can of this double Q pink salmon. And of course, I'm going to clean this old nasty can off. Because y'all already know it's got all them little nasty germs and dirt and stuff where it's been stored in the warehouses in the back of the truck and everybody touching all on them. So clean your cans, okay? We're going to need some onion. I will be using an egg. And you guys, I like to do my salmon like my mom did it with um, breadcrumbs. And I have some hamburger buns here, y'all. And they've been in the pantry. And they looking to look a little, little dryish, a little stalerish. So I'm just going to grate these hamburger buns and use them. You can tell they're not the freshest by no means but I can use them for breadcrumbs so that's what I'm gonna do I have three of them in here I know I'm gonna use at least two of them I might use three I don't know I'll see once I get it get it grated up and then we're gonna use some salt and pepper and I'm gonna fry them in some some vegetable oil and I'm going to fry them in my cast iron skillet, okay? Now, I already have some vegetable oil in my skillet. And I'm going to start grating this bread while I'm running my mouth. I already have some um, vegetable oil in my skillet, you guys. And I think we fixed some french fries in that oil already. But it's okay. We're going to use that same oil that has already been used. Has a little few little pieces of the french fry residue in there. It's okay. And we're going to put these salmon patties right there in that same grease in that frying pan. Okay. And then we're going to fry these up. And when I do my salmon, you guys, I usually, usually like to do mine. I do a salmon patty sandwich. And I like my sandwiches with just mustard, ketchup, and some coleslaw. That's how I like to eat mine. I know my husband is going to want some rice with his, but I love mine in sandwich form, okay? And just that quick, I've grated up two of these hamburger patties and, not hamburger patties, hamburger buns. And this is how much um, breadcrumbs I have, okay? So that's going to be enough for me. Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Don't y'all be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Let me tell you something. If you was in the kitchen in 2020 with nasty hands, I need you to make a New Year's resolution. Don't be in the kitchen in 2021 with nasty hands, okay? Wash your hands when you're in the kitchen cooking. Because if you don't, you just nasty. Okay, we're going to do better in 2021, all right? So now I'm going to get ready to, um, I need to... Grate up this onion. I need to open this can of salmon. And you guys, I take the bones out. I know some of you guys like to eat the bones. 
and they're really soft and you know truth be told there'll probably be a few that's left in here that's kind of camouflaged and they're so soft I won't realize they're in there but I take out all the bones that I can see if you prefer to leave your bones in by all means do whatever tickles your fancy okay Okay, I'm going to start by just putting my salmon in this bowl to get most of the water drained off of it. And you guys, not only do I take off, um, take out the bones, I also take, remove all of this uh, black skin as well. Don't like that either. Open this can back up so I can get the put my bones and stuff in the can. Like I say, if you want to leave the bones in there and eat the bones, help yourself. And I'm actually glad that I enjoy salmon because I am I'm a real finicky eater and it's not much seafood that I do. So I think the reason I probably eat salmon is because when my mama used to fix it, it used to kind of remind me of like a hamburger or something. I don't know. But I am surprised that I eat salmon. And let me show you guys um, up close just in case you've never seen salmon. See, I remove all of the black skin. Y'all might hear my dude number one. He back there in the background. <clears throat> Taking down the Christmas lights. And let me find you a good um Did you get them all from outside, babe? Mm -hmm. Let me find you some good bone for you to see. Y'all, this is the worst part. This is the part I hate. But let me show you that. Look at that bone. See that bone right there? Just in case you've never seen um, what the salmon in the can looks like. Believe it or not, some people haven't seen it. So I just wanted to show that to you. So I'm going to finish getting all of this, um, removing all of these bones, and then I'm going to chop up my onion and then we'll be back. chopped up small enough for me. So we're just going to add some pepper. bit of salt. One egg. Our onion. Yes, I like a lot of onion. And then 
into that our breadcrumbs. And I'm going to turn my skillet on medium high. I'm going to turn it up on high first so it can start heating up and then I'll turn it down to medium high while I'm mixing this up. And then we just mix until we get everything incorporated. You do not want your salmon very wet, okay? So it doesn't need to be real runny. That's why I drain the water off of it um, that's in the can. Just gonna mix, mix, mix until we get everything mixed up real good. Well incorporated. Now with the amount of onion and breadcrumbs I put in, I wanna add another egg. I just wanna make sure it doesn't fall apart. Can't have too much egg for me because we love eggs. But I just wanna make sure that Again, with the amount of onions and breadcrumbs I added that it doesn't fall apart. So I just wanted to make sure. And that's why I just added another egg. And see, some people use flour with their salmon patties. And see, I don't. That flour kind of helps hold it together too. The only thing I use are the breadcrumbs and eggs. Some people use flour and I know some people that also use flour and a little bit of cornmeal. I don't put all of that in my salmon patties because my mama didn't. Okay and then once we get it to a certain point, honey I have to use my hands. Use my hands. Make sure everything is mixed up well. That's why you have to have clean hands in the kitchen. And I didn't take off my thumb ring, so I'm trying to make sure I keep that thumb out of the way. Okay. And then we're going to make up some patties. Look like little hamburger patties. Like this. And then we just get them, get them fried up. But let me wash my hands. I'm gonna get these patted up and then I'm gonna wash my hands so I can zoom you guys in on the skillet while we're frying them, okay? Could have taken a little bit of this grease out uh, let's see see this is something else you can do if you need to just that easy I can remove some of that grease and once we get done cooking the salmon patties, I will discard this grease. We will not use this grease anymore. So don't y'all be reusing grease when you don't cook patties and fish in. When I use, when I reuse grease, I reuse it, you know, when I have fixed um, french fries. There we go. See how easy that was to remove that grease? I didn't want the grease covering up my salmon patties.
and I have my burner turned on medium because I want to make sure that the salmon patties are cooked throughout. You don't want salmon patties that are not done in the middle. And I like my salmon patties really golden brown. So they've cooked on this side about six minutes or so. And then we'll let them continue to cook until they're brown on this side as well. Look at these beautiful golden brown salmon. Uh, I cannot wait to put this in between some bread with some coleslaw and ketchup and mustard. Mm. Y'all, this is how I fix my sandwich. Mm. Got mustard on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got mustard on my bread. Oh, that's some good eating. Y'all, I'm hungry. So, there's my salmon patty sandwich that I'm getting ready to eat. I need to finish fixing my plate. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Push the subscribe button. What's that? The nosy. Um, push the nosy. What's the subscribe button, baby? That's the, that's the bell. No, shake the bell something. is the shake something. Yeah, shake something. And subscribe. Turn on your notification bell, you guys. So y'all will know when we're uploading over here, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. I'm so hungry. Oh, okay. Bye. I want to I fish. That's good. That's good, y'all.